Get your flashlights ready. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Wei Jiang Hide Shadow. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. I have to move him aside because it's a very large box for a very large figure. So, as you can see right up front here, we have some very, very nice artwork there of Hide Shadow, aka Blackout. On this side of the box, we got little Scorponok. On this side of the box, we have nothing much, but we do have up here, up here, we'll get to it. Can we see it? Right up there. Oh, there it is. Warning! Don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. On the top of the box, we have Hide Shadow on the bottom of the box, things and stuff, and more stuff and things. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. It does this, that thing, stuff, other things, stuff, and that's basically it for the packaging. Then moving right along, here we have Hide Shadow, and this is an upscaled knockoff of the Studio Series Leader Class Blackout. And, uh, you know, he's, he's a pretty nicely done figure. Um, upscaling him doesn't really do him uh, too many favors, it just makes him a bit more fiddly to mess with, and you know, not a whole lot of fun. But still nicely done nonetheless. Uh, here he is in his helicopter mode, as you can see, it's quite quite large. He's large and in charge. Let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. 4500A right there. You can kind of see his head kind of peeking right up in there. We got the trans clearance windshields there as well. You got some nice silver detailing picked out as well as some silver right behind these sections here. We do have some tampographed details on the side Let's see the windows are painted some nice details going on here and the big old propellers yes giant propellers yes i call them propellers again let's play a fun game where we look and see how many people in the comment section complain because i call them propellers <gasps> dance for me anyway. and <laughs> going down the side of the helicopter here again Nice riveting action going on. USAF, 4500A, Danier, Keys to Bay. Uh, <laughs> they have his name here on the back. The cats, nuts. Okay. <laughs> sure. Why not? Why not? In the back here, these do spin quite freely as well, as you can see. And the bottom here, as you can see, if we can, oh god, this is just, ah, oh man, let's get these out of the way. Wait, 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 where's the split? There we go. This will help me do this, there we go. If you look underneath, you can see everything is nice and covered up. This doesn't involve parts forming now, but everything on the bottom is completely covered up. And the landing gears do have rubber tires, some very stiff rubber tires, which do roll, so you can actually roll them around, which is nice. And uh, this front landing gear actually does have a rotational joint, so he can actually he can actually turn. He can do a turn now. Look at that. He can turn. That's cool. That's cool. He can turn. He's a turning thing. He's a thing that can turn now. But, yeah. So, there you have... But, and for comparison, uh, here he is with the uh, upscaled Studio Series Starscream by Black Mamba. As you can see how these two look side by side. Whoosh. And here he is with the official Leader Class Blackout. So you can see just how much they upscaled this boy right there. And just because, here he is with uh, Studio Series Dropkick. <laughs> He's just a wee little boy, isn't he? Oh, look at him. Oh, look at him. Now, one little added feature to note is back here. You can actually... This is not going to be fun. <laughs> this is not going to be fun at all, trying to shoot this. 
One little extra added feature here is back here. You can actually open this section. And one thing, okay, I gotta collapse these back up because this is just, this is just, this, this is just. Let's do that. There we go. Now they're out of my way. Okay, so. Uh, this back section here can open, and one thing to note, you do have to be careful with these clips here. Uh, the best way to do this is just to take the sides and just squeeze them in. Because I did already break one side of this panel here. Because you can see here, just to show it, you can see there's this little lip. This little lip right there that goes underneath these tabs. And uh, I already broke them off of this side here because I wasn't aware of them so I was just kind of pushing this down and just prying it up to get it undone. You don't want to do that uh, when you're attaching this section. You do want to just kind of squeeze the sides in and just get one side situated and then get the other side situated and that way hopefully you know you won't break anything. Um, sometimes it can fight you a little bit. There you go. Like that. Then it'll clip in. So just give the sides a squeeze when you're undoing this section because you don't want to risk breaking that because if you do then it won't lock in at all but anyway once you undo that you can see you can open that section up like a real chopper get to the chopper and they can just run right up and up in here you can see you do have a little scorpionock stored in there we'll get to him in a little bit there's some other stuff stored in here as well but scorpionock just does store as he does on the original figure so that's a neat little, uh, neat little added bonus there. And there you go. And yeah, that is uh, pretty much it for the helicopter mode. Wee! So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. I can't spin him. He has he has rubber tires. Wee! All right. So. Oh, this is not going to be fun. This is not going to be fun. If you watch the JTI, you're going to see how much fun this isn't. And I have to do this again, but we're going to do it again. So the first thing you want to do is just take the propeller blades here and just collapse them up. That will help you kind of get them out of the way, although they will still always be in the way. If you thought it wasn't fun transforming the leader class version, not too much fun. Now that the blades are twice the size, but you know, it's just, it is what it is. All right, so what are we gonna do first? Uh, first, we're gonna take these sections here and just bring them forward, just get these out of our way. And now we have to do our uh, little bits of parts forming. Well, one little bit and one major bit. Little bit is obviously you have to take off this rear section here, remove that, just fold that in, and we'll just put that off to the side for now. And now we will come to the bottom because this entire bottom panel is a separate piece that we do have to remove. So again, the best way to remove this is to squeeze the sides in so you can get those little bits undone here and then just squeeze the other side, bring that up. Same thing with these two clips as well. Again, you wanna just squeeze the sides in so you can kinda of get one side undone and then you can just kinda of shift it over, get that side undone. Now, this section here hooks underneath these sections, and this can be kind of a chore to get undone, and I've found that the easiest way is really to just kind of undo one side completely, which is the easiest way, but still kind of annoying. We just kind of undo all this, undo all this, and just kind of untab. <laughs> Hello! Oh my god. So just undo that right there. This section does now clip in under here. You can see there's this little little tab that goes in right there. Once you undo all that you can just kind of bring this out enough to where now you can get this little hook out from underneath and once you do that we can now just pop the other side out with the greatest of ease. With the greatest of ease. Come on. <laughs> Even if you do all that, it's still not that easy, but you know, hey, we're trying here. We're trying. There we go. Just undo all that. And there you go. We have this whole panel here. This does have a purpose. We'll get to this in a little bit, but for now, we're just going to put this off to the side. And now we'll just uh, 
come back here, just bring this panel down, and we'll just remove Scorponok here and put him off to the side. And we also have some little green men stored in here as well. You can see I just store in these little slots here. And we'll take a closer look at them a little bit later. Just remove them, put them off to the side. There you go. So now we can continue on here. So first we'll start off with the arms. God help me with these. Mm, stay, please, please be cooperative. You're not going to, but I, I beg anyway. So <laughs> we're gonna take the section here. We're gonna start off with the arms. So bring this section forward. Let me get a better angle here. There we go. Bring this section forward. Just bring this down. This panel will. <laughs> ah! <clears throat> Just bring this over. This will tab in right there. You stay right there. This little panel here will flip in like so. The central section here. You want to unclip. This is a new bit of engineering they added to this toy. So you want to take this, unclip this, bring this down, and now you have this bit on an armature here. At this point now, you want to bring the arm down. And now this armature here will just collapse in like so. And this will just clip in right up in here, like that. And that armature you can just kind of tuck in right in there. And you got that done. And this ends up cleaning up his forearms a lot. So once we do that, we come here, we pull out his new hands. This little section right here, you just take and you rotate in. And you bring this in, bring this section in. And they will tab together like so. You rotate at the bicep. So you have your elbow joints. And we can rotate his wrist because, yes, he does have wrists now. And he does have posable hands as well. And then we just take this whole assembly, bring it forward, and it will just clip in right there. And there you have an arm all done. Second boss is just like the boss. So first we need to unclip all this here. Untab all that. Unclip this section here. Get all this undone. There we go. Undo all that. So we can undo this. Come on, release, release, release. Why are you, why are you, why are you fighting me? Why, why are you fighting me? There we go. This section here, and again, it's just a tab that goes right in here. <laughs> so just bring this out, down, fold, bring that in. Unclip this section, bring that down, and swing the arm down, collapse this in, like so, and then just push that in, and just come in here, flip down the hand, flip in this section, bring it all together, tab it in. Rotate, rotate, you can open up those hands. And then we just bring all this in. Tabby tabby, locky locky. And there you have the arms all done. So now, let's move on to this section right here. Now this section actually does lock into this section, whereas on the original toy it didn't, so you do have to undo this. So you just want to get in here and pull these sections out. And you can see they just lock in right in here. So this is a locking point now that they added. So you just bring this out. And now we can take this section here and split it down the middle. And this will just swing out to the sides. Like so. Once we've done that, we can just come in under here, just kind of push that up. Now we'll just pop his head up, like so, push it up. Then we take this, bring it down, take all this, swing this around like so. Just want to leave this out for now. This section here does now collapse in, which is quite nice. So there we got that going on. We got this weird looking thing going on here. 
but we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> so now we just want to take this whole assembly here. Just kind of bring that up so we can free up his legs. And now we will start working on his legs. Now I need to raise up a bit. Now I need room to operate. All right. Is everybody having fun? This is fun. This is fun. Did I mention this is fun? This is fun. So now we're just going to bring the legs down. We can bring the crotch plate down these sections now. Rotate around and come up. You just kind of thoop, thoop into place now. So some new engineering there. So we got that going. So now we can work on the legs. So it rotates the thigh so everything is facing forward. And what are we going to do now? We're going to take the foot and just bring it down. And as we bring it down, we have this new little panel here. Boop! That just pops up. This little spring-loaded panel there. And all that will move up as well. Take the landing gear. Like this and just bring it up like so. The feet here do have some new engineering. We just want to slide this down. This section will untab and swing in, rotate this around, and now we have these little sections here. So just kind of bring this around like so. And just kind of get your nail in there and just bring that around like so. And now you collapse this up. And as you can see, that now gives him some more clearly defined toes as opposed to him just kind of looking like he's just standing on some planks. So that's really nice how that works out. And uh, yeah, you can just take the leg. You can leave the leg straightened out if you want to or, you know, give him the chicken legs. He's supposed to have the chicken legs. So, But of course, as always, your toy. Do what you want with it. You also have a little spring-loaded panel back here. You have some extra bits. And there you have a leg all done. Second pass is just like the fast. So again, we're going to rotate. Go bring this down. Boop, that's going to pop up. That's going to poop. It's going to all kinds of poop. Bring that up. And now we just extend that down. Swing this around. Rotate. And we're going to bring this around. Bring this around. Collapse that up. Again, do what you want to legs. I chicken leg them because I wanna. And now we can just take this whole lower body here. We can just clip that in. Oops. Clip that in all nice and secure like. And we're at the home stretch here. We're at the home stretch. We're almost there. We're almost there. My shoulders are only slightly sore right now, only slightly, but we're getting there. We're getting there. So now we can work on the backpack here. So this section will just angle up, make sure these are up so you can get all of this up and over his head. Up and over his head. Oops, no, come on. Work with me, buddy, work with me. There you go, get that up and over his head, like so. And at this point now, this section down here will collapse up as it does on the original toy. Now, due to this new piece that they added here, this does not fold up into, this does not fold all the way up like it does on the original toy. That's all you're gonna get is 90 degrees here. So this, unfortunately, you can bend it up like that, but it looks kind of weird, but really you just kind of have to just, the best thing is to just leave it down so it gives him kind of a tail, but Again, there is something you can do with this. We'll get into it a little bit later, but you can transform with that piece on if you want. But just bring that in there, and this will just tab into his back. Like so. Get all that situated here. Now we can get these things situated. They kind of cooperated. Not really, but kind of. Kind of. A little bit. Let's get his legs all situated here. And now we come up to the top, we just take these bits, just drape them down, like so. And I think we're done. Are we done? Please let us be done. Yes, I think we're done. There you go. Woo! And there you have Hide Shadow, a.k.a. Blackout, in his robot. 
mode. And he looks quite good. He looks quite good. Not all that fun to transform, but he looks quite, quite good. And of course, we need to uh, finish off the look of him here. We can just bring in the tail section. Just bring this panel back out. This just plugs in. Just as it does in the original. And there you go. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin of his. We went too high. Here we go. Right about there. There we go. We're gonna take a look there at that head sculpt. Very nicely done head sculpt. Some nice paintwork on it. Got the nice silver in there. Got those grays, eyes done in red. Very nicely done head sculpt. That looks really, really good. Quite, quite nice. You can see all the details there that they picked out in paint now. This looks quite nice. And moving down the body. This section, if you want, you can, you know, leave it out, bring it down. You can take this and swing this all the way under his body. Just have it kind of tucked in there. You can do that if you want to, but if you want accuracy, it is supposed to be sticking out like that. But again, as always, your toy, do whatever you want with it. But, oh, nicely done. The paintwork on it looks great. Quite, quite nice. Lots of detail. You got some nice gold in there as well on the legs. His big old feet. I love how the new engineering works just to, you know, even more uh, defined toes there. That worked out quite nicely. Again, you have these new little extra panels here. Give it a little bit of extra accuracy. And the back again, he has, you know, more of a tail now, unfortunately. But we can do something about that. And he has the cape, the cape of blades, which does look quite cool. They're a pain in the butt, but it looks cool once you actually get them into robot mode. So yeah, now articulation-wise, he had ears on a ball joint. You get a little bit of wiggly waggly. You can look up a little bit. You can look down. Rotation. That's pretty much as far as you're gonna get, but that's about as far as you need. Arms gonna move forward that far and back that far. Get okay, outward joints. You do have bicep rotation, which is quite snug on mine. Elbow joints on a ratchet with 90 degrees of a bend. He does have posable hands now. He does have wrists and all that good stuff. You got wrist rotation. The hands can also move up and down. All of his fingers are posable. His uh, thumb is on a hinge at the base and a hinge at the middle. And his other two fingers are on a hinge at the base and a hinge at the middle as well. So now he has some nice posable hands going on there. Uh, nothing at the waist, just due to the way he transforms. This can move out of the way to accommodate the leg movement legs. Can move forward that far, back about that far before things start to get in the way. Outward, you can do those full splits. You got thigh rotation, you got two knees to work with there. You can get 90 degrees of bend. You can get all that going on. Now, uh, this section right here, you know, that's on hinges, so you can kind of angle those however you want. Have them sitting closer, have them sitting farther. Do what you want with them. Feet can move up and down as well as your ankle tiltage. So now let's talk about his little buddy Scorponok. So here he is, and we'll just kind of unfold him here. Open him up. Here we have a little Scorponok, and he's really, really nicely done, as you can see. Got a nice silver pain going on. You see his eyes there picked out in red. You get those little gold details in there as well. Looks quite nice, quite, quite nice. You can see the tail also has that gold there. There's the underside. Again, lots of that nice silver going on. Um, as far as articulation, yes, yeah, good. There's little claws that move in and out. Uh, the tail does have some extra joints in it. So you have a joint here, a joint here, a joint here, and a joint there. So you can get a little bit more of a, a natural pose there with his tail as opposed to the official one. And for comparison, here it is. With the official little Scorponok here. As you can see how much they upscaled that. And again, this version just had 
two joints at the tail. So you couldn't get, you know, much of a natural look there, but now you can get a very natural scorpion tail look going on there. So you got that going on, which is pretty cool. And as I mentioned earlier, you do get some, uh, some little green army men. <laughs> you see, you got two soldiers right here with their guns. You know, there's not a whole lot to them. They are made of a, uh, of a soft rubbery material there. But not too bad. Not too bad. And you got this one guy by himself here. Again, with his gun. Pretty nice detail-wise. Not too bad detail-wise. You can just see how small they are next to Scorponok here. And now we can bring in this bit right here. As I said earlier, this does serve a purpose. Let me just raise up a little bit here. And when we flip this around, oh look, there's a little world under here. <laughs> so this is actually used to make like a little, a little scene here, a little battle scene, which is pretty cool. Now what you're going to do is you're going to use this and you're going to use part of a blackout himself here. Now let's bring him back to the forefront here. And now if we can get these out of the way, what we need to do is we need to kind of detach his, uh, his back here, just make life a little bit easier. Come on, there we go, undo this. And if you don't like the new tail he has here, well guess what, we can actually remove this now. And you just kind of pull this apart and it just unpegs from the sides, like so. And we can now remove this all together. Clip this back in, and as you can see, that cleans up his back very, very much so. This makes him look a lot cleaner. So that's, that's some optional parts forming you can do if you want to do it. So now that we've done that, let's come back down here and let's talk about what we do with all of these bits. So what you do with this section here is uh, this panel will come up. You just rotate this around and this whole section here will just come up like so. You can see you got some like you know brick wall detailing there. And then you take this section, this just folds down like so. Then you take these panels here and you just collapse them up like that. And you have these two tabs here that are gonna go into these slots right in here. Let me just line that up. It doesn't stay too securely, but it stays well enough. Let me just bring that down, and you can see you have a little scene going on there. And even, you know, the little car here, the little car is actually pretty nicely painted too. Look at that, that actually looks quite nice. You, know, you got some, you know, shrubbery going on and whatnot. These are on hinges because reasons. I don't know why these are on hinges, but they are. You can move them, you know, right? Why not? Thing you can do if you want to do it. You don't really have to move these if you don't want to. It doesn't really affect anything, but hey. There you go. You see you got some, some barrels here and whatnot. So you got a little, little environment here. And what you do is you take your little green army men. And there's their little pegs right here. And you just plug these guys in right here. Plug this dude in. Right. There, these pegs are shaped a specific way, so they only sit in a specific way. And then you take Scorponok, and there's a peg right here for him. And he just pegs on right there. And there you go. You got a little battle scene going on there with the little army dudes fighting Scorponok. If somebody can shout, left cheek, left cheek, left cheek. You know, just the thing you can do if, if you want to do it, just saying, you know. <laughs> but hey. That's kind of cool, though. I like that. I, I think it's a very clever use of the uh, of the extra parts here. Why not? Dare I say, why not? Let's put this off to the side for now, because now it is time for some comparisons. So here he is with the upscaled Studio Series Starscream. You can see how that works out. Here he is with the upscaled Studio Series Optimus Prime. Here he is with the upscaled Studio Series Grimlock. He's a big boy. 
Here he is with the upscaled evasion mode Optimus. Here he is with the upscaled last night Megatron. Just because here he is with Studio Series Dropkick. Oh, look at him. <laughs> He's just a little guy. And here he is with the original official leader class blackout. Again, just so you can see just how much they upscaled this guy. So, there you go. So there you have Hide Shadow. Um, as always, it's a knockoff, but it's a really well done knockoff. I, I do like and appreciate all the improvements they made uh, to uh, the Leader Class Studio Series Blackout. Um, they added a lot of extra locking points for the helicopter mode, which is great, but at the same time, it makes them a little bit more fiddly to get into helicopter mode, so eh, it's, it's kind of a double-edged sword there. I like that the bits that you pull off of him can come together and make this little battle scene. I think that's really cool and, and quite clever. As always with Wei Zhang's stuff, there is some die cast in him, so it gives him that uh, little bit of heft there, which is always nice. So despite some annoyances, some fiddle factor, he is still a really well done figure, so. There you go. Now I pick this up from a Sir Toys. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. For all your official Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. You can also check out my knockoff Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Wei Xiang Hide Shadow, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face! Hey, listen, Barricade, I have to go out of town again for a couple days, so, um, I need you to watch Scorponok again. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't know about that. Uh, it didn't quite go so well the first time. No, no, it's cool now. I got him trained. I got, I got him trained. He'll behave. Oh, well, if that's the case, I, I guess I can watch him for a couple days. Hey, Scorponok, it's your favorite Uncle Barry again! Ah! Ah! I thought you said you had him trained! Ah! Yeah, what do I know? He does what he wants.